birthday tomorrow. I've no clue what this is. Yeah, I've no clue what this is. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? This that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. So maybe I ought to stop by another time. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krak awaits. How's the mood in there? That's exactly calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here in Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Yes. But as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Don't pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? You're shite, Boston. Ceres! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her. She's so... so... Well, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus, we're near twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. You talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Did you drink last night too? Uh-huh. <laughs> Try me! Mega Masha, you! Oh. God's help! Oh. Save you from my wrath. You tear him apart! Looking for something, Frostbeard. No swords. But I can firmly trust the axe. Yes, Richard? Yes, Richard? Yes, Richard? Yeah. 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 Shall ye tell how Ceres on Crete tricked a demon most evil, a spectre cold and cruel, 
a Heimmusiker. Years on end he held in thrall Jarl Udelric. Could not eat nor sleep till one day Ceres, brave lass of Skellige, called the demon white, challenged him to a duel. She went down to the land of Moorhog, in whose dark corners demons dwell. Fearing neither wounds nor death, she called the Heim from its lair. The fiend stormed a nest, then sprung at Ceres to grab her, kill her. But the three of last was quicker, more clever by half. She stepped aside and with her sword ended it. Listen here, listen well. I was there, I was there. And what I saw, I now ye tell. Mm. This blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's mm. swinging it, eh? To kill it. Finally a chance to fall like a bit. My mind clear, my conscience clear. Trick, rebel. Laughter's music for God's ears. Got me on you. Respect, Richard. Tongues are wagging about you. Carol could have changed his name. Something I've always wondered. Ceres. Heard us, didn't you? So did everyone in that room who's not completely deaf. Yalmar wastes his time arguing with me. And I really don't know why. Everyone says I've no chance against him when it comes to the crown. Do you think you stand a chance? I don't know. That doesn't mean I'm giving up. I'd never do that. Of course you wouldn't. It's just... After Udelric solving his grief, I thought I'd gain some respect. Thought they were taking me serious. But no. Every step of the way, I have to prove I'm fit to be queen. You're his sister. It's natural. We've always argued. But I thought something like this. I thought he'd show some respect. But he's just attacking me. Would you prefer he ignored you? Refused to see you as a rival? Perhaps you're right. Better get back to your guests. Won't gain any votes talking to me. You're right. Till later, Geralt. And? And? Turns out they spoke the truth about you. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. Huh. Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vild Carls and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Vild Carls? Who are they? Ah, uh, those wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. Thanks. Got scars enough. See, your bollocks have shriveled. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf! Heard you're taking on challengers in fistfights. Challengers? Ah, nay. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. 
not a witcher, eh? You fight more like a little bitch. Get out of my sight, drifter. <laughs> not so tough without your blade. Which is too bad, because you just lost it. Here, may it serve you well. Ha! Can't wait to test a witcher's blade in battle. The mood strikes. Listen, how about I give you the equivalent in coin instead of my sword? After all, can't really earn a living without it. Shouldn't have bet it then. But, fine. Owe you that much for old time's sake. Pay up and keep it. Let's do this. Gladly. Make a match of ye. Tear him apart. Not too late to surrender. You had good. Hard. Oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. Well, lost the wager. But that were such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. And? You drink last no. night too? Something I've always done. I don't do witches to do this to their own asses. Smashing these old giants around. Eh? Use the courage to fight the bad cards, eh? Challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Not in the mood to fight. That time of the month, eh? Get out of here, you green cunt. May your eyes never crumble. Fight or get out of my sight, foreigner. Let's do this. Gladly! Fight more like a little bitch. Get out of my sight, drifter. Fight you again. Just warming up. Well, what are you waiting for? Go call the next one.
You felt so quick I didn't even have the time to warm up. Never have beat me if I weren't five tank guards in. Had a drink? Don't fight. Then bring on someone sober. Think you can find one? I can. Night's still young. Between my fingers like a tick. Got me eye on you. I smell blood. Oh. Stop oh. playing with them. Quite good for a continental. May your axe never crumble. Looking for something, Frostbeard. What is it, Greyhead? Ah, boo hoo hoo. What? <laughs> Brand those what? swords, but I prefer the trusty axe. That's no foreigner. Like shrews, white arse. Something I've always wanted. Lessons or giants around. Got me eye on you. Too? Grand those swords, but I prefer the trusty backs. Did you sever his head? Head of a giant on your mind. Go in peace. Go in peace. I've always wondered. To kill a giant's one thing, no but our fox in a mind. That's a feat. Eh? Only one chosen by the gods could accomplish such a Best thing. Best not worth shy of a weak arm swinging at eight. Yeah. Oh, that's a decoration. 
We'll show you what a real thing Got me on you. Watch your step. We'll see you So I jumped on his back. It's like my blade in his neck to the hilt. Blood sprayed out like a true geezer. Except cold as a mountain stream. So many of your kids died. A shame that. I damn shame. The way it Would you better to drink to their memory? There's a cockatrice sank its claws into the yard, but I held fast to me sword and sliced its maw. But what's that compared to Hjalmar? He killed a giant. On another's held. No shame in having a good crew. Hjalmar had a mercenary at his side. Ah, that's another story. Grab <laughs> a horn, Gera! We've to drink. What, Nordling? What are you doing here? You ever tried fishbowl bullshit? So I jumped on his back. It's like my blade in his neck. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favourable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yards will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, not else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. To that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hard-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. 
think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Uh, Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. <coughs> Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <coughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I will not step for this. Dad, come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog! Calm down, calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate, find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. to examine, things to consider. We must find out how this came to be, elsewise we... We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait? Are you mad? 
You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Jarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Pretty sure you can handle this fine without me. Aye, we will. So long, Wolf. Wanted to talk. The massacre during the feast. Know anything new? The inquest is ongoing. I'd rather not be hasty to condemn. See ya, Crack. Got a minute? Farewell. Or Ceres. You'll see. Uh, I don't know. Ballads of Spanrigus of Brand's blood. Thanks, blood of the king. That don't mean he was born wearing the crown. I'm going with Yalmar. Don't know where, but I'm going. Knew you'd not turn down an adventure. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. We ride to Fornhalla. At a gallop. Right. We're here. Meaning? Can I explain what we're doing or not? Remember the wild men I sparred with? The ones we called Vilkarls? You might have mentioned them when I walked in. This is Fornhalla. Their village. They were the ones who changed into bears. Just like in the legends about berserkers. I saw it with my own eyes. Might have been alone in that. Everyone else was staring at young Lugos. He claimed he could down a barrel of beer in one go. Almost did it too. Vildkarls. What else do you know about them? They're not part of any clan. They've no wives nor children. So how do they reproduce? By budding? No. Those wishing to devote their lives to battle come here to join them. In the summertime they hunt, go on raids. Come winter they sleep in their caves, with the bears. At least that's what folks say. Got a feeling it's more than gossip. Why not speak up right away, back there in front of everyone? Because they'd have started talking, questioning and quarreling. Words won't wipe the shame from my clan, only deeds will. So what now? Simple. We welcomed the Vildkarls under our roof, gave them food, drink, and they spilled our blood. So now they must pay. In blood. Nice and simple. Kind of plan I like. And that's why I like you. Come on, Wolf. The Skulls will sing of our vengeance on the bears! Should at least take one alive, make him testify before. This ain't the continent, Witcher. Don't need no court to see justice done. Stop to consider that somebody might have duped them, used them. Then they'll die for being idiots. Enough jabbering already. Let's go. Uh-huh. No one here. Ran away. Knew I'd come for them. Odd. From what you said, don't sound like the type to lack courage. Let's look around. Could be nearby.
Look, up there. The corpse by my reckoning. Mm -hmm. Needs examining. No women's clothing, items, no toys. Told you. Only men live in Fornhalla. Won't be anyone to mourn them. Human scalps. Unusual as decorations go. Fell to his death. I think I even know where from. See that ledge? Mm hmm. This one here doesn't look like a Vilt Carl to me. Eh, true. More slender in the shoulders, no tattoos. Interesting. Given tattoos. Spiked gloves, black with dried blood. If it is, it's new to me as well. Clothing from six men, just one body though. Body covered in bruises, knuckles chafed raw. Fought barefisted, to the death, some kind of trial. Probably, or a very bloody sport. Six men. Only found two bodies, though. An old shrine, covered in runes. I know the signs. Language of our forefathers. It's foul blood. Damn it. What is it? Is that a name? Why? A deity whose worship is banned. All altars devoted to him were raised years ago. Priests stolen and were bound, tossed into sailless longboats that were pushed out to sea. Doesn't make sense to fear gods, only ever dangerous in stories. The gods don't concern me. Their followers do. What did this deity do to earn condemnation? Him? Nothing. But those who promised him almost drowned Skellige in blood. You see, Svalblood demanded sacrifices. Human sacrifices. Sword at the ready, Witcher. Strange smell. Bit like incense. Bit like a bait we Witchers use. For what? Bears. Crikey. You've a sniffer like a hound's. Better. Follow me. Someone walked through it. Tracks lead uphill. Follow the thread. Wounds covering the body, but he didn't bleed to death. Someone broke his neck, finished him. What the hell's going on here? Don't matter. Body's still warm. They're close. Come on! Dried mushrooms. Side to side, I think. Harold, finish up your ferreting already.
clothing from six men. Only found three bodies, though. Skin rug. Classic. Come on, open it. Air is thick with incense. I'm gonna puke. It's as though. Shh. Hear that noise from below. Finally. Looking for death? Nay, vengeance! And answers. Why do you attack Kertrolda? We didn't come to the feast to kill, but we've no regrets about what happened there. There are weaklings in every herd. They must die to make room for those of strong blood. Like the men whose corpses we found. Aye. Those who wish to join us enter the Earth Sign Circle in groups of six. We take only three. The weak give their lives in sacrifice. The strong start their lives anew. Strong blood? What are you talking about? I speak of the she-bear and her cop. We've talked enough. Good. Talking tires me. out of him. We don't need to. Everything's clear, blood for blood. Your vengeance, your rules. Realize they might have acted at someone's behest? Might have just been part of a plot. We on Craig always have foes. Let them plot, let them strike. They'll end like the Vilcarls. Voices. More of them further on. I'm counting on it. Let's go!
Our forebears forbade all from worship in Svalblad, on pain of death. What? Where'd you? From Kertrolda. Bet you know why we're here. Aye. On a matter that's not to you, mutant. A matter of pride and honor. True. Not my concern. Yalmar, he's all yours. I could just butcher you like a swine. But I'll let you die with honor. Defend yourself! Didn't see any honor in what happened at Crack's castle. That was a massacre, plain and simple. You see in darkness, you're still blind. We spilled that blood for Skellige. For a king we can be proud of. Don't give a damn about your motivations. Give me a name. I'd sooner die than tell you. Arise! Arise and drink of the blood! Enough of that. Not afraid to die. Gotta give him up. A letter. Turns out the Vildkarls, unwitting tools. This druid, Artis, was to be the new king's advisor. Cheap reward for sicking the Vildkarls on your guests, causing all that bloodshed. Who signed it? Nobody. Anonymous. You were right. There's someone else behind it all. All the mayhem. Suspect anyone? I know many who crave the crown. But none who'd stoop so low to get it. Whoever it is, they could strike again. And I'll be on my guard. What now? I'll tell the Jarls what we found here. Hope it's enough to clear the clan's name. Come on! We're done here. It was them attacked us. The Vildkarls. Will you claim they turned into bears? That they're the berserkers our nanny scared us with as children? Is that it? I saw them transform. With my own eyes. Did you see Freya ride by astride a wild boar as well? You've discovered as much as your sister. That's to say, nothing. I'll vouch for Yalmar. Why would we believe you, eh? You're a lackey to Oncrate. And a witcher. He knows beasts, including those that take on human form. 
send men to Fornhalla, then you'll believe. Mean there. A shabby village, a few huts. What's there of interest? A temple. It's as vile blood. Go on, Yalmar. What about? I found the traitors, wrought vengeance on them. That's everything. No, not everything. The Vildkarls conspired with someone. Found a letter on one of their corpses. Big. This does not identify the guilty party. That's not why we've gathered. You washed away disgrace with the blood of our foes, Yalmor. I, eldest among the Jarls, cleanse your clan's name. We part in peace. So it is true. Warriors have become bears. I'd say it's the opposite. I saw their transformative ritual. Our trial of the grasses. Pure pleasure by comparison. The Vilkarls have been punished. You and Yalma saw to that. But our true foe continues to prowl about. I sense hard times ahead for Skellige. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me, see for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. We're just in time. They've already started. Might join you later. Counting on it. As are my children. Didn't I say we'd see Crack's offspring on the throne, eh? Now we'll see Lugos at the gates of Kertrolda. Just you wait. He'll not let this go. We'll welcome him with arrows and boiling oil. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitors' heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. A 
ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them. I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn. Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos. As you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing. Just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Pull yourself together, Senna. How'd they get in? <laughs> Don't know. The gates were shut. <laughs> Don't really know. Do we a moment? Turn back around. Saw a bear standing by the bench. What is the gods doing? Maybe they're punishing us. For what? You're talking rubbish. Hmm? So the tales are true? Warriors in battle frenzy transformed into wild beasts? Berserkers? But how'd they come to be here? And? Bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. So many wounds. No wonder he all born bled to death. Autric. Shit. No more than a kid. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stingrim, maybe? Drogadar. Skald's played his last. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. have here bear's head but the tongue's short like a human's mouth smells of honey liqueur mead and something else something earthy 
There's like honey, before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. one. And only mead. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from Somewhere else in this room. Yes, Witcher? Yes, Witcher? on the grounds, every inch! Now! Not now, Geralt. Not now, Geralt. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood? Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood, and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? A disgrace. The camp we've not seen since the Red Funeral. Fewer died then, and I'm a Jarl son of my If this turns out to be Crack, I'll twist his head off. If Crack appears to be guilty, we'll try him and keep him with our customs. Aye, and then I'll twist his head off. Wanted to talk to you. What about? What about? What do you think, Holger? Is not here about salt and herring, or the currents around Speaker Rogue? Flap your gob at me again, and I'll shut it for good. Calm down! You act like rabbit dogs, not yarls of Skellige. Speak, Witcher. Any ideas who might be behind the massacre? Nilfgaard. They're the most to gain. But we'll avenge our sons. We'll burn their shores from Nazea to Atolia. Wonders abound in the Nilfgaardian army. Towers with wheels, Zeracanian mercenaries on humpback horses. But I've not heard of them having trained bears. This was Crack, I tell you. We're in his castle, he let him in. Wasted words, Lugos. 
I don't know who the traitor is, Witcher, but I'll tell you, it's none of us. We all lost loved ones. How long have you managed to survive? What are you saying? Eh? That we're the ones who came this up? Shut your gob. You're clucking as foolish as a gander hatching eggs. We survived because we're the best warriors in Skalliga. You're both damn fools. If not for the Witcher, none of us would be alive. So long. Well, what is it? Your son did well in the Cave of Dreams. Why even tell me this? Well, got reason to believe you underestimate him. What? Did he whine to you? Oh, the shame. When I see him, I'll... He didn't say anything. It's just... Well, it's plain obvious. Farewell, Lugas. Swallow the traitors. Freer, Our Lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrum were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. The castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Yes. That. 
wanted to talk. The massacre during the feast. Know anything new? The inquest is ongoing. I'd rather not be hasty to condemn. See ya, Crack. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? Mahakaman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. <laughs> Right behind you. That's a relief. This mead's clean. Nothing here either. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! Too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. God, we might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. There's a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once... Ah, bygone days. Hmm, magic. A place of power. Get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I have no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. Huh. 
I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. We'll chase him down. He fled. Get back to the castle. I'll try to track him down. I'll wait by the stables. Find anything? Mm hmm. Arnvold's body. And this key. Had it on him. We've got to search his room. Lead the way. Still can't believe Arnvold played a part in it. Know him well? Since childhood. He was always tight lipped, secretive, never hurt a fly. Let's get to work. Search every nook. Turn things upside down if need be. Think he'd be dumb enough to leave any evidence behind? He didn't expect to be pursued. Might not have managed to take everything. Here's his room. Arnvold slept there by the wall. The Song of Bran the Conqueror. Bran the Conqueror is a hero to Clan Tuirsic. He took Skellige's crown by force, was killed soon after. Interesting, but it's hardly proof. Clothes all over the place. Think Arnvold might have been in a hurry. And a lone shoe. Unlike him, he paid attention to how he looked. Wonder where the other one is. Think that important? 
was wearing both on the beach. Remember that clearly because he didn't have much else on. Now where could it be? Got a shoe under the table. Arnvold must have kicked it in his rush to get away. Hmm, something inside it. Beautiful things. All pretty much useless to us. We should take everything anyway. Never know what could be important. Right. An empty envelope. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Must say I envy you that. Ambergris. Means a user of perfume. That's the scent to follow. A hidden compartment? Hmm. Maybe I ought to try Arnvold's key. A letter! I told you! Smell it. Burn his perfume. Never liked it. Horribly suffocating. Might have guessed it was her. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander our clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. Read that letter already. Instructions on how to spike the mead. Some promises. But it's neither signed nor sealed. Think it's enough? It's got to be. We shouldn't delay any longer. Time to gather the Jarls. Iron Vault! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. Let's go! You don't stand a chance. Way to see you, Bark Knight! Come on, Roach. Do not get away. Shit, he's fast. Time to lose, then. Kill him. Huh? Are you mad? I'm on your side! Not anymore. Gerald, we need to be alive. Figure as much. Help me. They were waiting for him. He probably thought they'd take him someplace safe. I can't believe he could be so... so stupid. Oh, God, I've known him all my life. Need to search the body. And? They're tartans. Clan twirs are colors. Berna. It's too soon to pass judgment. It could be a ruse, a plot to deceive us. You find anything? Just this key. Found it in Arnvold's pocket. Too 
smooth for a door key. I might just know what it fits. Let's get back to Kertrolda. Let's get to work. Search every nook. Turn things upside down if need be. A letter. I told you. Smell it. Burn his perfume. It was her after all. Time to gather the yarls. I've assembled the Yarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boona Brands! The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the Berserkers. I beg your pardon? The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Twas my father's cub-bearer, Arnvald, who helped him. Bearing a bribe, Arnvald, he tried to kill me and the Witcher. What? Arnvald? No oh, shit. Arnvald is Crack's loyal dog. I thank you, Lugos. But so be it. Let us hear the slander you've commanded him to repeat. Bring him in. He's dead. And I wager it was you who silenced him. I am not surprised to see you lie, Ceres. After all, like father, like daughter. But your lie is clumsy. And that does surprise me. Silence, Berna. And you, Ceres, how do you aim to prove your accusation? I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncreate lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But the hand is that of a woman. And you... <laughs> is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Bernard's right, Cyrus. Is all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Shit, he's fast. Why do you betray them? Talk or I'll finish what I started. No Oncrit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Arnvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals.
Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Cerys and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Ancreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Werner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald. Instructing him how to spike the meat. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saris. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Give it Come on, Roach. Shit, he's fast. Knock him off the horse. No time to lose, then. Kill him. Huh? Are you mad? I'm on your side. Not anymore. Harold, we need. Thank you as much. Help me. Time to end this. Why did you help me? Because I want to hear why you betrayed my father, my brother, and our clan. Say it to my face! No Oncrete should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. And I know the colours those men wore. That was the clan Twer, Sakatartan. It's her. She's behind all this, isn't she? Yes. Bernard Braun. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claim onto Skellige's throne. Everyone needs to hear this. Let's get back to Kertrolda. Will you tell the Council of Jarls of the plot? I will. I was ready to die for Berna, but not like this. The thing will need to convene. Let's go. You've that right, but it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. Arnvold fled Kertrolda, rode to an agreed meeting point. The warriors who awaited him there tried to kill him. What's that to do with Werner? Those men wore clan twer set colors. This is no proof. It is inconclusive. Anyone might have donned our tartans. Werner's right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas. Your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damned castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. I'm 
sorry, Cyrus. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Swan Regan, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crape. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me, see for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. We're just in time. They've already started. Might join you later. Counting on it. As are my children.
Corona Bran. Horrific death. 